A new Total War game has been announced a little while ago, but instead of having historical or fantastical setting, we are getting a strategic card game called Elysium, with a mix of historical characters and units spanning millennia. Now please wait, and before you see not another card game and give up already on this, let me at least show a bit of it to you and tell you why I think this may actually be the one strategy card game you might just enjoy. First of all, this game is much more dynamic than most other card games you might have played. On the board, each side has two battle lines it can place cards on, and all cards, except the structure ones, can move between the two lines. The unit cards, depending on their attack type, can attack from the front line, back line, and even attack enemy flanks on their back line, making this strategy game feel like an actual dynamic Total War battle. And for those of you who dislike dynamic battle and like to turtle up, there is a perfect setup as you can play card structures like palisades, stone city walls and gateways, blocking off your back line from the enemy while you fill it with everything from Chinese archers to Napoleon's artillery. Another difference to the most other card games is the relatively low number of cards per deck, at 18, and no copies of cards. This really tones down the grind for cards and randomness of pulled cards in a single game. Additionally, out of those 18 cards, you only pick 9 for your starting pool of cards, and get to repick every 7 turns as they represent one full day of battle. As you get to repick the cards for your hand at each dawn, this lets you change your strategy during one battle, preventing you from losing the battle just because you ran into an opponent who had the perfect counter to your build. This is further reduced by the fact that each general has his own special card, which can be used multiple times in each match, and it is always present in his hand. Each one of these is specialized, so it matches the general's style of play and his unit cards, often having a lower price to play if specific conditions are met. There is also an interesting card mechanic connected to the dawn of a new day, as well as several unit card abilities and mechanics not seen in any other strategy card game so far, like the mentioned flanking, raiding, directional splash damage and more. I will explain all of these in more depth in my next video tutorial, where I will show you how to play and win battles in Total War Elysium. My name is Peter, and if you're new to my videos, I would like to welcome you to my channel, where I present a variety of strategy games in form of previews, guides and a lot more different content. So if you have been enjoying this video, please do not forget to hit that like button below and even subscribe to see more videos such as this one. Now, besides the new board setup and game mechanics, Total War Elysium will offer its players the roles of many historical generals from all sorts of different ages across the world. From Sun Ren and Tsa Tsa to Marie Antoinette and Napoleon. At launch, there will be about 10 generals, including Vikings. As for cards and the total number of units, structures, and abilities, it is already past 500, with some being the obvious ones, like the Archers, Infantry, and Cavalry, while there are some quite original and new ones, like the Healing Campfire or the Gladiator Arena. Many of them have unique effects and bonuses you can activate in certain situations and when specific conditions are met. Some of these are reliant on cards moving between the two battle lines, making the matches more dynamic in the process. At launch, the game is going to be available on PC, Android and iOS, with an in-game store where you can buy packs to unlock new cards. But do not fear, all progress can be achieved just by playing the game, battling against the AI or the other players in PvP and earning those card packs, amethyst and gold through daily quests. You can also unlock all the game's generals this way, so the only reason to use the store will be your willingness to spend money to save time. A note here from the developers is that all boxes brought from the store will tell you the exact rarity of the cards you will be receiving. As I mentioned, PvP is already in the game, and there will be more game modes introduced during development and post-release. The developers are promising battle modes both familiar and totally new to this genre. I for one would love to see a survival mode, where you are pitted against increasing numbers of French revolutionary mobs and count the days before you are eventually overrun. Total War Elysium is currently in closed beta, from which is the gameplay you are currently watching. You can sign up through the link I have placed in the description of this video for a chance to be one of the beta testers and you can also find the minimal requirements there as well. The game is by no means demanding and so will work on older hardware, both desktop and handhelds. That isn't to say it doesn't look and sound great. The battlefields are beautifully drawn, unit cards are extremely well detailed, 
while the sound effects and music have that Total War feel to them. This means that I can just almost forgive Sega for announcing a card game instead of a new Warhammer or historical Total War game because of this atmospheric representation of battlefields and units. I must tell you, as somebody who has played half a dozen other card games in the past, that this is the one that I really enjoyed because I never had a battle in which I felt I had absolutely no chance of winning. The low card count, less randomness, the more dynamic board and interesting abilities make this a great and unique game among all other strategy card games. I cannot wait to see who will be all the historical generals which have yet to be introduced in this game after release and all of their unique units, structures and abilities. I'm going to use this opportunity to say thank you to developers and the Creative Assembly for this preview opportunity, but as you all know, this would never be possible without your support in the form of being my subscribers and watching my videos. If you are interested in more Total War content, I will leave these cards up here for you and feel free to leave me your suggestions for new videos in the comments below. I thank you for watching and I wish you all happy gaming.